Hello Saints, I'm Dean, I am not Pastor Tev and this is not Hello Saints, this is just my personal YouTube channel. So, <laughs> I, because I run the Book of Dean podcast, I feel obliged to not just talk about it, um, talk about the church, talk about um, everything to do with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the main one that everyone knows about. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm doing with the podcast and with the Book of Dean um, user uh, usernames that I have. But I sort of feel obliged to actually pay attention to the news, meet with the people, actually have a relationship with them. So I am about three, four hundred meters away from the chapel that is technically my chapel in a sense of, it's the place that I would go regularly, um, every week, to partake of the sacraments, to um, be a part of the church. It is where the congregation meets. I am just waiting for it to open. So I'm actually quite early. So what I thought I would do is talk about what I am doing today. So today I am meeting with the local bishop. I'm not going to say his name out of privacy reasons. Um, and I am meeting him to discuss some things I have a few concerns about when it comes to the latest conference talks um, for October 2024. Some of them kind of seemed like it was saying to members and people who were watching, don't trust websites and podcasts and video channels like this, like the Book of Dean, like my channel as a whole, but rather just focus on what the church says. And so I'm just going to take some quick notes and um, recap the talks and all that so that I am actually asking the questions. And I'll recap the questions as well. Another thing that I have to ask um, the bishop is if I, because I am an ex-member of the church, if I was to rejoin, if I was to rejoin, what would that process be? Because normally, if, you're, if you've never been a member of the church, you take the lessons of the church you, um, with the missionaries, then you get interviewed for baptism and then you get baptized and then confirmed. Maybe the same day, maybe um, the Saturday, then the Sunday, depending on your situation. Um, so I don't know what that process would be for an ex member of the church. I know that there would have to be a meeting with the bishop, but that's about all. I have no idea of the process. Now, am I thinking of rejoining? No. I am not fully convinced of the church being true. I don't think it has the qualities of a good, accurate Christian church. In the sense of keeping true to the actual scripture of the Bible. I know that they have the Book of Mormon and Doctrine and Covenants. I even have the Book of Mormon here. And I have been taking notes just to prove it. I will open up. To a page here. I have been taking notes, so yeah. Um, so I like I am doing this um, for myself to reconcile if I even joined the true church or not, um, and also educate Christians who have never been. Latter-day Saints, of the actual teachings of the church in accordance with what they actually teach. There are some things I just simply do not know because I have never participated in it. I have been through the temple in the sense of doing baptisms and confirmations for the dead, the proxy ones, but I haven't done the, I haven't been fully ordained or 
Um, the government been through the entire temple and been in doubt. So I can't speak to that on personal experience. There are other things, on the other hand, that I can speak to you about on personal experience, on personal authority, because I, therefore, have witnessed it. I have experienced that. So, I am just waiting for the bishop um, and everyone to arrive. I am early by 20 minutes. So, yeah, that's, that's my life. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm going to talk to the bishop about... My, my concerns on the sentiment of of sort of implying that you can't get any truth outside of the church um through the um through the actual conference talks that happened in October and also what would it would what would that process be if I was to rejoin? So I'll come back and the next time you see me I will just have come out. So talk to you soon. Hey, so I just finished the meeting with the bishop not too long ago. Um stayed for a bit for the church. Um so basically he explained into like me for like the concerns about the info and stuff. It's you wouldn't go to your mechanic for doctor's stuff. You wouldn't go to your doctor for mechanic stuff. So why go to non-Mormon stuff for Mormon stuff? Which is like, if you're going to gatekeep information, then it's still kind of sus. But for me to rejoin as an ex-member, it would have to be, um, go to the bishop, the bishop will go to the stake presidency, the stake presidency will go to the first presidency, and then the path to rejoin and all that, be guided from the first presidency itself so um that's how he got explained to me and yeah so that's quite interesting anyway i'm off to have lunch with a friend i shall see you next time